Hi, I'm Ricardo Mead, founder and director at the El Socorro Center for Wildlife Conservation. And we're here today with the Nurture Nature campaign to teach you about the harmful trade in capuchin monkeys and why it's so bad to have these animals as pets. But most importantly, what you can do about this situation. So what is wrong with having a capuchin monkey as a pet? Plenty. The first thing you should know is that the trade in pet monkeys is full of animal abuse. To get a baby monkey for the pet trade, the trappers have to kill its mother. Since the mother is likely to be carrying a baby when she is shot, the baby can also be injured or even die. That doesn't matter to the wildlife traffickers. They make a profit from selling just one or two survivors. The babies are tied up or shoved into a basket without enough food and water and smuggled from South America to Trinidad for sale. Some people see a sad little monkey and buy it because they feel sorry for it. Others want one since they think a baby monkey is cute and it will be just like a baby human. Nothing could be further from the truth. The second thing you need to know is that pet monkeys are dangerous. They are wild animals that can carry diseases like yellow fever. And even monkeys that seem docile can become destructive and aggressive as pets. It gets worse when they reach puberty. Many monkey keepers experience property damage, violent outbursts, and physical scarring from being badly bitten. When they realize they can't handle their monkey, keepers often confine them in a small cage. This can make behavioral problems even worse and can cause these highly intelligent creatures to develop mental illnesses. Overwhelmed keepers sometimes release their monkeys into the wild, which takes us to the third thing you should know. Almost all pet capuchins are non-native species that can become invasive and threaten our local monkeys and ecosystems. The tufted capuchin, which is a popular pet monkey, is native to Venezuela, but not to Trinidad and Tobago. So many of them have been released into Chagaramas that they now have a self-sustaining breeding population. This could be bad news for our native white-fronted capuchin and red howler monkeys, since tufted capuchins can be aggressive competitors for food and territory. So what can you do to combat the harmful trade in capuchins? First, don't buy wild. Rather than pay for a monkey and encourage the trade, report it to the authorities. In Trinidad and Tobago, this means Forestry Division in Trinidad or the Department of Natural Resources and Forestry in Tobago. You can also make an anonymous report via Crime Stoppers TT. Second, if you do have a monkey, you should absolutely not release that monkey into the wild. This can have a devastating impact on native species. Instead, give it to a rehabilitation center or to the zoo. Third, you can support local efforts to rehabilitate and repatriate these animals to the mainland. You can provide monetary assistance to organizations like the El Socorro Center for Wildlife Conservation that are directly and actively working on returning these monkeys to their native forests. Join us in protecting capuchin monkeys and the beautiful biodiversity of Trinidad and Tobago and the wider Caribbean. Remember, don't buy wild.